Have you wanted to start a breathwork program but you just didn't know where to begin because of the mounds of information that are available? Or maybe you're just like, hey, I'm an air breather, isn't that breathwork? Well, today I'm gonna go over how to begin a breathwork practice. And then I'm gonna give you a couple techniques that will really help you in your clarity of thought and your awareness and your overall health that are easy to incorporate. You don't need to wear tie-dye, you don't need a yoga mat, you don't need to become a vegan. It's just two techniques that are very powerful in lowering the level of stress in your body, giving you clarity of thought, and then helping you with your awareness. Let's just set a baseline of information so we're all speaking the same language. So when we're talking about breath, breath literally is the link between the mind and the body. And how that happens, let's just say you're in a stressful situation, your life is in danger, and so the body then um, employs the sympathetic nervous system which gets you into fight, flight, or freeze. And so it dumps adrenaline and cortisol, so in case you need to fight or you need to take off running or you need to freeze for your safety, it's a great thing. The problem is, is when we stay in that fight, flight, or freeze or sympathetic nervous system and we never get into the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the relax and chillax, it becomes very detrimental to the body. So by doing breath work, we can improve things like our cardiorespiratory health, which is very important. It'll lower our blood pressure. It will reverse signs of aging. Any kind of degenerative disease, it can help lower the volume to that, as well as help athletic performance, increase your clarity, your mental focus. And so it really is a hack. But what I love the most about it is it is the fastest way to release trauma from the body. So it can be from athletic performance. Let's just say you have an injury and that energy gets stuck in the body. Breathwork will help open you up where you can release that energy. Also, if you're on a healing journey like I have been, it's the fastest way to get that trauma out of the body. You don't have to have this, you know, years and years of therapy and gnashing of teeth, and not to say those are bad things, but this can really speed up the process of healing. And another thing, I love what James Nestor reminded me of in his book, Breath, where he said, for every 10 pounds we lose, we lose eight of it out of our lungs. So we all know that we can't control our external environment all the time, especially not with what's been going on recently. But with breath work, we can certainly begin to control our internal landscape. Does that mean you will never react badly again? No, it just means that you'll have more tools to modulate and moderate your reactions. You'll be able to get yourself out of stress mode, the corrosive you know, cortisol and adrenaline that continues to pump through our system. You'll be able to lower the volume to that just by learning to breathe properly. You know, most of us have poor breathing mechanics and especially me. And so since I've been doing this breath work, it's just amazing how much more energy I have, how much leaner I stay, and my reactions, I'm not so trigger happy because I'm not in fight, flight, or freeze mode all of the time. How, 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 how? Well, by taking the body's remote control back. You, once you get that remote control back, if you don't like the channel, click, you can just change the channel. So a breathwork practice literally is the remote control for the body. So there's a couple things we wanna keep in mind. The first one is awareness. So when we're in fight, flight, or freeze mode, we have just like a narrow focus and we're really just looking to see what's out there that could attack us. So when we're doing this breath work or these two techniques, we want to lower the volume to the focus. We want to soften our vision internally and externally. And coming from someone who's had a big major awareness awakening experience, I can tell you the biggest change is that on every level of my being, it expanded my peripheral vision and it softened my gaze. And so we're gonna keep that in mind. The second thing is we have a nose for things. So there's lots of breathwork practices that go in the mouth, 
out the mouth, in the nose, out the mouth. But for this one, we're gonna do nasal breathing so we can get the full benefit of nitric oxide, which is that signaling molecule that if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I think it's super. And so we're gonna breathe in and out of our nose with our mouth closed. So we're gonna do two different breaths. The first one is the Heart Brain Coherence from the Heart Math Institute. This one I do normally first thing in the morning when I'm in my car, driving to my first appointment, the sun is usually coming up, my eyes are open, my work clothes on, and I just do this for one to three minutes. The song I'm gonna be using is one that Stephen Schultz did for me. I'll also link to that, it's amazing. And then the second one we're gonna do is one I call double exhale and or double shot sometimes and we're gonna do that one for three in and eight out but what that one does is it really lowers the blood pressure it's really great to do if you're listening to a great piece of music with your headphones on and your eyes closed and just allowing the volume to lower to the body I like to do this one when I get home from work after I've changed my clothes to kind of remove the stress of the day so let's get right into the first one, the heart brain coherence breath. Let's just start with lifting through the crown of your head, kind of rolling your shoulders down and back, trying to create a little bit of space in your center body. Put your feet on the floor and just think about softening your gaze for just a minute we're gonna open our awareness. We're gonna bring some healing and restoration to the body. So I want you to close your lips and we're gonna breathe in and out of the nose, kind of listening for the sound of the breath. And I want you to take one hand and put it over your heart. Okay, so I normally do this when I'm driving so you can keep your eyes open. So close the lips and we're gonna inhale to a count of five and we're gonna exhale to a count of five. So here we go, inhale and exhale. Good, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now just find your rhythm, your own rhythm. Inhale to a count of five and exhale to a count of five and just tune into your heart. Good. Exhale. Softening your gaze, opening up your awareness opening up your vision, giving the body an opportunity to relax. Good. Slow, gentle breaths in and out of the nose. Good. Softening the gaze listening for the heart. Allowing the brain and the heart to synchronize. right here. One more. And exhale. Great job. You've done your first round of breath work maybe. So I'm very happy that you did this and invested in yourself. Now we're going to go right in 
to the double shot or the double exhale. So the double exhale, we're going to inhale for a count of three. We're gonna exhale for a count of six, seven, or eight, whichever feels more comfortable to you. This one would be great if you could close your eyes. We wanna soften our awareness. So just for a minute, I want you to sit up nice and tall, lifting through the crown of your head, but I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about softening your inner vision. So just giving the body an opportunity to rest and relax. And we're also going to close our lips on this one and breathe in and out of the nose. I always like to put one hand on my heart to begin with, just so I remember to tune in to my heart. All right, so let's close our eyes. And we're gonna breathe in for a count of three and exhale for a count of eight. And I'll talk you through the first several breaths and then I'll let you find your own rhythm. So here we go, inhale on a count of one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, for the sound of your breath. Exhale. Now find your own rhythm. Inhale. And exhale. Dropping your shoulders. Tuning into your heart. softening the muscles in your face. Giving the body permission to relax. Listening for the song of your heart. Great job. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have been enjoying doing it with you. And so this is just a practice that will transform you, mind, body, and spirit. Um, the heart brain coherence, you could do that several times throughout the day, setting an alarm on your phone and just stopping and bringing your attention down into your heart. The double exhale or the double shot would be great to do when you get home from work or right before you go to bed. I would love for you to like and subscribe and hit the bell for the notifications. It helps me know which videos are resonating with you. And then if you want to 
ask any questions or if there's other breaths that you would like for me to do, I would love to do that. And then I would love to hear how it's going. Since you've watched until the very end, I'm gonna link to a worksheet where you can keep track of how your breath work is going. And then until next time, be blessed.